doing excellent in his training. Uh, we are hoping to get him out soon. We're really trying to push for it, especially because he's been here for two years now. So we're really trying to push hard for him to get out of here. Uh, the only thing that he really kind of needs to improve on is, if you'd believe it, he's too friendly. Um, I, I believe I've mentioned it before in pr uh, previous Meet the Dogs, but a, a problem that he has is that when you do falls with him, uh, normally what the dog is supposed to do is go down with you and then help you back up. What Fred likes to do is he likes to go down with you and then kiss your face, which is adorable, but we cannot have that when he's working. Uh, so we've been trying to help him get over that. It, it's cer it's certainly not the worst thing that he needs it, that he could ha uh, need to improve, but it, it's definitely something we want to kind of like get squared away, smooth out. Um, and of course, once he is matched with someone, once he's starting to work with them, I'm sure as he kind of builds up a bond and trust with them a bit more, that'll start also working itself out on its own then. Uh, but other than that, he is very close to going, so we are really hoping to get him out soon. Uh, I don't know when soon is, but we're really, he's, he is very close. He's, he's, he's getting there. Um, so I'm going to open it up to any questions about Mr. Fred. Uh, my little guy, that is, that is always been his, my nickname for him. He has always been my little guy. He was, the angels were the first litter of puppies I worked with. Them, uh, the angels litter and the Schitt's Creek litter. Uh, were the first two litters I ever worked with. And Fred uh, was my favorite from the two of them. He, he was the first dog I ever took for an overnight. Uh, I took him home. First thing he did was pee in my house. <laughs> then we cleaned it up, and then he did it again right away. <laughs> but overall, he did very well the couple times I did take him home. Hmm? Yeah, you're my little guy, huh? Always will, always have been, always will be. So, any questions about my little guy, Fred? I'll try to think of anything else in the meantime. Uh, Fred, let's see, Fred is our social butterfly, he's our Walmart greeter. He is the friend, probably the friendliest dog we have on property. He, he warms up, usually warms up to people right away. Uh, does, uh, Crafty asks, does Fred have any contact with Sandy at this time? So Fred has actually been over in laundry for a bit. Uh, so not recently. Uh, we did just bring Fred back to the barn today, actually. Um, so that one we're going to see about. It's really going to be depending on because Sandy ha has trouble with her back legs. So it's really going to be kind of a matter of we'll have to see with them uh, if he's playing a bit too rough for her. We might have to not have them play together. Uh, we had that issue with her and Jack, actually, where we tried putting Sandy with Jack. Jack immediately tried to jump on her back. She did not like that, snapped at him. So it's really going to be dependent on if Fred is going to be able to play nice with her. Oh, uh, Crafty says we missed the first part of the presentation due to highlights. Okay, uh, let me just give you a quick rundown. Uh, Fred, Fred's quick profile. Uh, so Fred is part of the Angels Litter, born in May 2021, so he's two years old now. His parents are Reese and Watson. Uh, he got his mother's looks, but his father's smile. Um, he eats twice a day, two and a half cups each. We have him on a little bit of a diet right now. Last time we weighed him, he was about 145 pounds. Um, so he was actually the heaviest boy in the barn. Uh, ooh. Hold on, plane flying overhead. I'm just gonna let that pass so I can hear again. Uh, so he was the heaviest boy in the barn, uh, beating Davis out for biggest, technically. Um, he, uh, what else? Uh, he is doing very well in his training. We're hoping to get him out very soon. Um, he does not have much left he needs to work on. Um, Crafty asks, do you think he will do better with a male or a female recipient? Um, let's see. Do I think... I, I think... I think the male or female isn't going to matter too much. I think it's going to be a matter of one. Uh, are they going to be tall enough? Um, 
because Fred is definitely on the taller side, so we do need a taller person for him. So, I mean, more it, it will probably be a guy, but, I mean, if we can get a taller woman, that, that would work too. It's also going to have to be someone who can, I wouldn't say handle him, but Fred is still a bit of a puppy at times. He he He's a little immature. He knows all his trainings, but he, he, he likes to, you know, he's a love bug. He, he's, a, he's just a big puppy. And we're going to need someone who isn't going to let him get away with that too often because they start letting him get away with that he's going to start backsliding on his training and that's just going to be no good so i don't think gender is going to matter too much i think what's going to matter is um if the person who gets him is going to be able to be like okay fred it's work time no more playing we got to go um Bar, uh, Barb V asks, what three words best describe Fred? My little guy. Uh, <laughs> Fred, uh, I think this might have gotten cut off uh, by the highlights, but uh, Fred has always been my little guy. The Angels and the Shit Creeks litter were the two fir litters I first worked with when I came here. Um, and Fred was my favorite from the two litters. He was always been my little, my little guy. Uh, he was the first dog I ever did an overnight for, so... <laughs> He's always been, as my t my time here, Fred has always been a staple. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard for him when he finally get, uh, gets his recipient. Uh, but those three words would be my little guy because that has always been what Fred is to me. Is that right, buddy? Huh? Uh, Barbie, what does he like the most? Eating. Uh, <laughs> he has always been a big him and his brother Sloan were always big eaters uh, Sloan definitely more so but uh, Fred has always been a, a big eater he, he doesn't like to wait he, do, he, he does have the wait down pat if I ask him to wait at the bowl he will wait until I say okay uh, but you can tell he is like tensing up ready to go <laughs> so I would say he probably likes uh, between play love and food food probably trumps all Huh? You a big eater, Freddy? Yes, hello. Hello. Mwah. My little guy. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Harvey asks, does he like being in the area by the pond? If you're talking about, uh, the laundry building, Honeymoon Hill, where he was until today, actually, uh, I think he did. I think he might prefer to be in the barn because there's more dogs for him to play with. But because that building is where the bathroom is out, actually, he does get a lot of people interaction, which I'm sure he loved. So I think he likes being over there. Uh, I think he's probably going to be happier being back in the barn because he's going to be with everybody else now. Um, so... But we're gonna we're gonna see, um, and I mean, with any luck, depending on the, how the search for the uh, decision process on his recipient goes, hopefully he won't be here much longer, anyways. But we'll find out. Uh, Crafty asks, "What are his favorite treats? Anything? <laughs> you give this kid anything, he'll eat, he'll eat, he'll he'll eat it. Um, we've given him the milk bones, the Alpo snaps. Um, he'll he'll devour it all. Wet food." Puppy food. He's, as I said, he is a he's a big eater. Uh, he does not really care much. I don't think he, I don't think he has a favorite. Uh, I think, in general, the Alpo snaps, which I learned today, ha were discontinued several months ago. So we're not going to be able to get those anymore, unfortunately. Uh, are generally the favorite for most of the dogs in the barn because that's what they were used to for so long. Because that's what we always had. So I think for a lot of them, that was their favorite. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get those anymore. Um, or as far as I know, we're not going to be able to get them anymore. I don't know if someone has, like, a hidden cache of Alpo snaps um, stored away in a bunker. All right, we're going to give it a few more minutes for any last-minute questions about Mr. Fred. Huh? Boy. 
You're doing very well. Standing right by me, huh? Yeah, you're ready to go. I will probably cry when he goes, though. <laughs> I do. It's not going to be the same without him here. He, he really is such a presence in the barn. Um, I, 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 we're all very used to having him here. Uh, so it's going to be very, it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough when he's gone. It's going to be very different, and then, but we'll, we'll all be very happy because he has been here for a while now. Uh, so we're really pulling for him to finally get his recipient, get out there, get working, and having a place all to himself. Because he, you know what? He deserves it. He's a good boy. He's a real sweet boy. Uh, any questions about, any last minute questions I should say about Mr. Fred? We'll give it another minute. Yeah. If I let go of the leash, will you just stay here? Will you just stay with me right here? Good boy. Yeah, there you go. I don't even need the leash for this one. Great. minute questions about Mr. Fred. I think we got mostly everything. We, we got a lot of questions today, so. I don't know what else there is to ask, huh? Alright. I think that's good. Thank you all for tuning in to Meet the Dog. We'll be back next week with another dog. Uh, until then, everybody have a good night. Uh, yeah. And hopefully this doesn't make a loud sound when I put it down.